Hello everyone, and welcome back to DMG. This hard drive in my NAS failed, and um, I'm not quite sure why. It was working fine, then it, then it had the click of death, then it disappeared from Windows and wouldn't recognize in an external caddy any other computer, and the, the NAS won't boot with it installed. So I did lose about 200 gigs of files, and this was in a striped volume, so it was with three other drives, so there's pretty much no hope of recovering the files unless I send it off and pay like $400 to get it uh, recovered. So um, I'm not going to do that, I just want to figure out why it died. So uh, head issues, it was having issues reading the disk, but you know, I'd like to know exactly what went wrong. You know, now that I think about it, it's probably not great to use a, you know, 10, 11 year old drive <laughs> to store important data. But, you know. Okay, there's all of our top screws, and we've got one more here. So that's holding the head itself down. There we go. I believe this drive only has one platter because if you look on the back, there's a big, uh, like, there's so much empty space, so the actual drive is pretty thin. There we go. Yeah, it's got that um, like pointy pyramid spindle clamp. Let's see. The head uses uh, both sides, so it's it's double sided. It already didn't recognize in a caddy, so I. I think it'll still demonstrate symptoms though if I just pop it in here so that we can hear what's going on. So yeah, it spins up, tries to read, and fails. And it just does that constantly. So when a hard drive is making the click of death, that's what's causing it. The head moving on and off the platter. So it's failing to read something right around there. So the head disengages and parks, which is, of course, going back to there. I mean... Just from feel, the platter is going very fast, so I think it's spinning fast enough, so it's not... I don't think the central motor has any issues. It's incredible how loud hard drives are without the uh, top cover on. Again, I could, you know, do drive recovery on it, but I don't really want to pay for that because it's very expensive. I'll just find those 200 gigabytes of, uh, of stuff on the internet again and download it because this was primarily my uh, vintage software collection. So I don't, I don't think there was anything in there that wasn't backed up anywhere else, but it'll be inconvenient not to have it all in one place. Need a bigger one. Wow, that's, 
That's very screwed down. I don't think I can get that out. Now this is interesting. The magnets aren't screwed down like the magnets of, you know, any other drives that I've seen. I think the magnets are screwed in on the back. So I'll have to take out the controller board. It'll also be interesting to see how this is wired. All right, here is our board. There's your controller, cache, and whatever that is. Looks like you've got a thermal pad on the controller. That's interesting. I've actually never seen that. And like this this bump in the in the metal of the drive that it connects to. And these three screws here should be the magnet, yeah. Oh, it's a round end of the head. That's kind of a symptom of a cheap drive when you see that. Usually that does not mean that it's a very particularly a good, reliable drive at all. So there's a lot of tamper evidence seals on this one. There we go. Because they don't want you to find out how poorly this drive is actually made. It's not the worst I've seen, but it's, um, it's definitely not the best, I'll just say that. Alright, so I'll probably need to move the head. It stole my screwdriver, but that's a really small magnet. That is a pathetic magnet. Honestly, if I'd known the inside of the drive looked like this, I would not have used it in my NAS ever. Because that's just that's just pretty awful when it comes to construction. Yep. Circular end of the head. Because on most drives, that is flat, and it's like actually bent into shape. But with super cheap drives, they just don't do that. So they just couldn't be bothered to do that here. Then we have magnets that are about the size of laptop drive magnets. So yeah, that's just a super cheap drive. I actually have another of these in my NAS, similar revisions. Uh, basically the same drive but just different firmware and I think I might decommission it in favor of another one because it's just not well built yeah and that one just won't come out I, um, I because I can't really get further into drive into the drive I'm gonna end the video here thank you everyone so much for watching if you enjoyed please subscribe and uh, yeah that's it for this video see you next time